Today in Final Cut Pro, I want to show you five plugins that I consider to be must-haves from FX Factory. And I'm so excited because I am partnering with FX Factory to put all five of these plugins into a singular bundle, which you can pick up for 30% off the retail price of all five of these plugins. But if you already have one or more of these plugins and you want to just pick up an individual plugin, you can also use the other links down below. And then if you use the code, the Final Cut Bro, you're going to get 10% off. The first plugin I want to talk to you about today is Keeper. Keeper is fantastic at cutting people out of a scene using machine learning just with a single click of a button. So I'm going to go ahead and go down into my effects and I'm going to look up Keeper and we're just going to click and drag this onto me. And as you can see, it has very, very quickly chopped me out, leaving just that clean background behind me. I don't have a blue screen or anything like that. So I love using Keeper for throwing in graphics really quickly behind my head. You'll see it very frequently in my videos. But what I also love using Keeper for is as a color correction tool. Normally I would have to rely on lots of shape masks and tracking and all sorts of things, but with Keeper, I don't need to do that. I'm gonna push option, click and drag to duplicate that clip. And I'm gonna go ahead and select the bottom one and remove Keeper. So now I have both a top layer and a bottom layer of me. Now all I need to do is jump to the bottom layer, push command six, and I can apply separate corrections to just the background. So if I wanted to push everything way over into the greens, I could do that. And again, it doesn't affect me in in the scene. So Keeper is really powerful at quickly adding color corrections and graphics into your scene as long as you're working with a person. The next plugin I want to talk about is Markup. Markup is essential, especially if you're creating tutorials or you have something on screen that you want to really showcase. The one that I use the most is Frame Zoom. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag that down onto the timeline and you'll see that it creates this rectangle. This rectangle can be dragged around. Maybe I want to zoom in on the subscribe button here and now if I play through it's gonna auto animate the camera to zoom in on that subscribe button but on top of that it comes with all these other amazing features like focus loop I really like it's almost like a magnifying glass so if I play that through you can see how it magnifies the subscribe button and we can also jump over here into the title parameters we can adjust stuff like the magnification the curvature the stroke color all sorts of things to really enhance your videos the third plugin is premium VFX's dynamic transition transitions. These add such a great sense of fluidity to your edits. They're very, very easy to use and they're extremely powerful. Now, unlike most transitions, you're not going to find it here in the bottom right hand corner. You're actually going to need to go up to your titles. Now within titles, you can look up premium VFX dynamic transitions. So all I'll do to use these is drag them down onto the timeline. I have my A and my B. So you want the letter A to be on the first clip and letter B to be on the secondary clip. So if I play through, you can see how dynamic this transition is very easy to add. What's a major benefit and why I wish more people created transitions like this is that because they are titles, we can actually apply multiple transitions to a single clip. I'll just drag in the A zoom to the first clip and then the B zoom to the second clip. And so now if we play, we have both a rotation and a zoom happening on both clips. So this can be extremely powerful for customizing how you want your transitions to look. Plus, if you wanna zoom in on a particular part of the screen, I'll select in, you can see I have these on-screen controls. So let's say I wanna zoom in on the city, I'll just drag this to the bottom right. I could also set, select the rotation and make it so we're rotating around the city. And so now if I play, you can see how we're both rotating and zooming in on the city in the bottom right. So these are super powerful, super customizable, and I really, really love the energy that they add to my editing. The fourth plugin on this list is Premium VFX's Backgrounds and Titles. I use these in every single one of my videos. They are so clean and professional looking. So if I wanted, say, one of these duo tone looks, I can just click and drag that down onto my timeline. You can still see the background, but there's these nice animated elements over it. All the colors are shifted to this kind of monotone look, so you can very clearly get a title to pop through. Speaking of titles, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this title directly on top. And so now we have this title playing out. If I wanna change what the text says, I could say something like subscribe and like. I can change the size of these boxes. So if I want it to be short, so it just fits the and like, I can change the colors. So they're very, very customizable. They look amazing. They have on-screen control, so I can just drag drag these around to whatever corner I need. I can rotate them, scale them up. I love how these look and I highly, highly recommend that you pick up Premium VFX's backgrounds and titles. This last plugin is likely going to make the top five list of every plugin list I ever make for the rest of time because it is that good. And the plugin I am talking about is Add 
motion. Let's face it, Final Cut Pro's animation systems are awful. But Add Motion totally changes that and actually makes it so I enjoy doing animation in Final Cut Pro. So to apply Add Motion, we'll just locate the category here and I'll go ahead and just drag Add Motion onto my timeline here. And you'll see that it adds these really nice on-screen controls. I can click and drag and this one is position A, this one's position B. So if I play through, now the animation is going to play out of the graphic sliding in just like that. But there's a ton of other benefits. If I jump into my video settings here, I can change the duration. So if I want it to be a little bit slower, I can do just that. I can also change the takeoff. So I'm going to change the takeoff over to exponential. So it'll start off slow and then pick up a ton of speed, just like that. And then the landing is where you have a ton of flexibility. Let's go ahead and change this over to snagged. So now if I play through, it kind of bounces back into place. It looks so nice. Then on top of that, we can change the rotation. So I'll apply a little bit of rotation to this. I'll shrink back the depth. And now if we play through, you can see it's almost coming from the background, popping into focus in the front. But then if I want this animation to continue and move into a different location, we'll have it pop in just like that. But I'm gonna push Command B to create a cut and we're going to change the move from A to B over to B to A. And then from there, selecting add motion, I can change where the A position is. We'll have it go to the bottom right hand corner. So now if I play through, it pops into place and then goes back to the bottom right hand corner. And you can change all of these settings as much as you need to get these looking as dynamic as you want for your videos. You can apply it to text, to backgrounds, to graphics, whatever you need. It is just such a versatile tool. I use it for transitions. I use it for animation. I use it for basically everything. So add motion is at the top of my list of most needed plugins. Plugins, and it is fantastic because it is in this bundle that you can pick up right now, get it 30% off along with all of the other amazing plugins in this bundle. So that was five must have plugins that I absolutely love and use on a daily basis. I'm so excited to be partnering again with FX Factory to create this bundle for you. So hopefully you find it helpful and hopefully you're able to pick it up using the link down below. But that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.